<laughs> Hi, Samuel. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good job. Can you ask her how happy she is? I don't know. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're just going to back up and give the family just a little bit of room here, but I want just to kind of tell you what has happened. Um, young Samuel, which is the five-year-old that uh, did not get off the bus from OPS earlier today, just made his way back home here. We spoke to his father uh, on camera just a few minutes ago. We're going to try to have some of that interview on our 10 o'clock news tonight. His mother overcome with emotion. So happy to have him back. I'm sure any parent can imagine just how terrifying that is 
when you have a, any child, but especially one so young as five-year-old, not to get off the bus and then just not know where they are. But again, thankfully, the child has been found. Uh, we have been trying to get answers from OPS tonight. Uh, they tell us the five-year-old remained on the school bus and didn't get off. We tried to get more answers maybe from the parents, what they had told them. At this point, his father says that the driver of the school bus was a substitute school bus driver today, uh, so not the student's regular bus driver and may have not known uh, where to drop off the student and then the student being so young when he didn't get dropped off at his exact location then did not get off. So again police have been helping uh, this community and this family uh, since he has been missing and again he's been found he just uh, got reunited again with his mother his father and there is a large community here supporting this family very much uh, very much so again they have expressed their thanks to me in this situation, but just overcome with emotion very much tonight. You saw again, getting out of the police car, his father immediately going and hugging and picking him up, and then his mother even more emotion collapsing on the ground. So we decided to kind of give them a little bit more space now that we've caught that moment of them reuniting. Again, a very long, stressful day. Anybody even being away for their child for any amount of time has to be extremely hard. Um, but again, we're here at 47th and Nicholas. That's where this young child lives. His name is Samuel. He's five years old. And again, we're going to start putting together now uh, this story for the 10 o'clock news. I know we got a lot of you on there, about 800 and people. And I, I love all the likes and all the hearts because it is one of those stories, thankfully, that now has a happy ending. But we're going to work hard to get answers as to why this even happened to begin with. One thing I know OPS has said tonight is that it is unacceptable. And I think most people can agree with that very much so. We do have John Grenice at a OPS school board meeting right now trying to get answers on that end. We're here with police and the family getting answers on this end. So we'll have that full coverage for you guys tonight at 10 o'clock in just, just a few minutes away. But thank you so much for tuning in again. Uh, family has been reunited with the five-year-old who went missing this afternoon, Samuel. We appreciate all of you guys again. Thank you so much for reporting here live on 47th and Nicholas. Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News.